In a snappy article in the New York Times cleverly entitled, A Week of Whoppers from Donald Trump, authors Maggie Haberman and Alexander Burns list a single week's, quote, blizzard of Trump's falsehoods, exaggerations, and outright lies, and then they debunk them. After reading the piece, it occurred to me that watching the September 26 debate would be more fun if I were to keep track of the false innuendo and bovine fecal matter that dribbles from Trump's lips, just to record his prevarication score in bingo-like fashion, to identify which lies he told the most times in just one 90-minute period. Given that he was to be just one of two debate participants, he would be limited to about 45 minutes of blatant deceit possibility, minus the time moderator Lester Holt might use for posing questions and suppressing audience reaction. Surely not even Donald the Deceiver could rack up a high score in so little time, right? Wrong. In a debate where I found Donald Trump to be especially incoherent and nonspecific, here are the top scoring Trump's untruthables, according to our crack CYA news staff. In first place is, I was against going into the war in Iraq. He said something like that four times. Hard to tell because of his meandering, incoherent rhetoric. He said it other ways too, which if added to the blatant denials of the truth, brings the total to about eight whoppers. Two. Our African American communities are absolutely in the worst shape they've ever been in before. He said that some form of that approximately two times, sort of. Again, it's hard to nail this down due to the Trump verbal blizzard of non sequiturs. In t vying for third place, lots of whoppers. Like, ISIS is in more and more places. I'm all for NATO. The Iran agreement is one of the great giveaways of all time and we lose on everything. Last, stop and frisk wasn't found to be unconstitutional. Perhaps things seem hopeless and you feel your sense of dignity and even your sanity assaulted by the Trump blasts of political dishonesty. Well, take heart, there's hope. Have a look at the newest offering from the Represent Us folks. The link is in the written blog. After watching their highly encouraging video, click through to their website, then maybe even do something to make things better. I mean, really, that shouldn't be too hard since the bar is set so low. I'm Jack Altshuler.